What's going on ladies and gents, this is Bento with another Steam Controller playtest and this time I'm going to be trying it out on Portal 2. Now Portal 2 has actually kind of been a long time coming because uh, if you pre-order the Steam Controller it actually comes with Portal 2 and Rocket League for free. Although I've never um, needed them just because I've had them to begin with. I did give them to my friends and well Portal 2 from my experience is actually the best if not um, well, probably not really the only way, but I'd say it's the best way to actually introduce players to how to use the Steam controller as well as c configure it properly. And that's mainly because uh, Valve actually makes it really easy for players to be able to do so. Um, and I'll, ex I'll explain this when I go more in depth as to explaining my control scheme. So first, um, just for what I have set up, I am using Valve's typical con uh, controller configuration. So everything here is sort of how it is but um, I did modify a couple of things. So very typical of my FPS games, I have the right trigger as the left click, which is the blue portal in this case, the left trigger as the right click, which is the orange portal. Um, left bumper is actually to gesture, and that's mainly only for cooperative games if you, when you play online. Um, right bumper is to zoom in if you just need to get a better view. Um, the left trackpad is actually for cooperative. I actually forgot it. Um, oh. It is just for ping menu and je uh, more gestures, I guess, uh, just so it's set there. Um, and again, this is really only used for cooperative gameplay. Right trackpad is the is the camera movement and just very typical. It is a mouse style of input with trackpad functionality. Um, I also do have motion control, which is set to the right trackpad as well. Um, and again, it is a mouse style of input. Um, if I were to click the right trackpad, it'd actually be my use key. Um, the left grip I have set to crouch if I hold, no toggle. Um, my right grip is to jump. Um, for the face buttons I actually have Y to crouch and that's only just because I haven't changed it at all. Um, the B button is to use as well. A is also is to jump and X is actually set to nothing. So when I mentioned that Portal 2 has a lot of really easy configurations for the Steam Controller, what I mean by that is normally if you go to any of the Steam Controller settings, you have to set a key for it, and then, or a uh, key function essentially, and then name it however you want. But with Portal 2, it actually comes with a whole bunch of default configurations. So this actually makes it a lot easier for um, newer players to just jump right in. But you can always go to Legacy Keys, which brings up the um, typical menu up. And, that's, and I guess this is only exclusive to Portal 2. It might also be exclusive to Rocket League, but I can't say for sure because I haven't touched it. Uh, I haven't touched it at all. Um, so that's really nice. And the other cool thing is that Portal 2 actually comes with extra menu options over here. So you have your own control configuration for FPS controls, menu controls, puzzle editors. And I really like this option just because it offers more um, controller configurations for other places in the game. Um, and this is the only occurrence I've seen it. I haven't seen it in any other uh, Valve game or any other game for that matter. So I think it is just a Portal 2 exclusive. I am hoping that this sort of input is um, made apparent for customizing your controller. Maybe they'll implement it later. But for now, I think this is, this is only really exclusive to Portal 2. And this is really nice because, yeah, like I said, you do have all of these extra options to use. So let's get straight into gameplay. You know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. So one of the early portions in Portal 2 that sort of tests uh, you trying to use momentum to get over huge gaps. Um, you do have to use the faith plate in this area which launches you into the air. And you do have to open up new portals while you're traversing through them. So it's kind of like if you have to drop down and gain momentum by falling and then shoot another portal elsewhere so you can like fling yourself forward. And I'll show you guys that, I'll show you guys that in a bit. But overall controls felt really good in terms of moving, traversing, setting up portals and stuff. I honestly thought it was pretty easy to adjust to Portal 2 controls while using the Steam controller. And I kind of think that's mainly because Portal 2 controls are relatively simple. So as you saw here, I was able to traverse across the big gap by shooting up the other portal. Um, at first it felt weird because my aiming wasn't as fine, 
but because of motion controls and using the right trackpad to quickly uh, shift my camera where I need it to be, um, it makes aiming for those walls a lot easier. I think motion control is also really nice here because when you need to aim the redirection cube to hit the other uh, marker, um, that fine tuning just makes it much easier. Also, I think it's fun to use motion controls to burn the turrets to death. I thought about our dilemma and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. So I also wanted to playtest the old aperture section because I thought using the repulsion and propulsion gels would be cool. And once you're comfortable setting up your portals and you're comfortable with your controls, I think this portion of the game just becomes a lot more fun than it is. So from here on out guys, I think I'm just going to show you most of the gameplay just to finish up the level. Um, I honestly don't really have much else to say because the controller just works very well with Portal 2. So really my recommendation is that if you have a Steam controller and you have Portal 2, I think this should be like the first game you should really play if you want to test it out.
So that's it for me guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.